Hello, today we're going to be going over the problem The Lost Cow in the 2017 US Open Bronze Contest. Um, so a brief overview of the problem is that Farmer John is trying to find Bessie and he is currently at position X and Bessie is at position Y. Um, but since it's dark outside, Farmer John, who's trying to find Bessie, um, has to travel in a zigzag pattern um, and so the zigzag pattern is essentially he's going to walk right and then left and then right and then left but the distance he travels will be twice as far every single time so he's going to move at, uh, his first um, move will be one to the right and then he's going to return to his original position and then it's going to be two to the left he returns to his original position and the force to the right and then so on and then yeah we're trying to find the total distance he travels to find Bessie um, if you look at the sample input he's farmer John is starting at position 3 and then Bessie is at starting at position 6 or sorry she's at position 6 and then farmer John is gonna walk one to the right initially and so Bessie is not there, so he's going to return to his original position. So the total distance he's traveled is currently 2. And he's going to walk 2 to the left, so he's going to be at position 1. And Bessie is not there, so he's going to walk 2 to the right um, to return to position 3. So now he's traveled a total of 6 um, because he just traveled 4 and he already traveled 2. So now he's going to walk... Well, he has to walk four to the right, <clears throat> but since Bessie is at position six, that's um, three from the right of his original position, so he's going to stop when he finds her. And so he's basically traveled six before and then uh, three addition added on, um, so it's going to be nine. Yeah, so... <clears throat> The solution is just going to be a simulation of this. You know, I guess we'll just get started coming. Yeah, so everything here is just input. <clears throat> uh, we've we've stored Farmer John's location and Bessie's location. And so for the simulation, we're going to keep track of uh, two things. Um, the first being next, which will store how much Farmer John will have to travel. So in the first iteration, it's going to be one. And then it's going to become 2, 4, 8, and so on. <clears throat> and then the next is going to be, uh, we'll just store in this variable called, variable called it. And then it is just going to tell us, you know, is Farmer John moving to the right or is he moving to the left? So we'll just have a while loop for the simulation. Um... So obviously, if Farmer John is already with Bessie, then <coughs> we'll just break because he doesn't have to travel any distance. Um, okay, so I'm actually going to start with this. So every single iteration, we're going to increment our answer. We're going to increment our answer two times what next is equal to because <coughs> next is basically storing the distance he's going to travel. And so in the first iteration, he's going to travel one to the right, but then he has to return to his original position. So he's basically going to be traveling two. 
um, yeah, same goes if he, in the next iteration, if he travels to left, then he has to travel to back. So then it's going to be 4. And then we're going to update next to be twice its original value. And then we're also going to increment it. Um, yeah. So, oh yeah, for it, so 0 just starts at 0. Um, and then it increments after every iteration. It is going to be um, even any time Bessie is traveling to the right, and then it's going to be odd any time Bessie is traveling to the left. And that's how we're going to tell. Um, yeah, so if, so now we're going to check, let's see, if Bessie is traveling to the right, meaning that is if it is even, and, um, I mean, sorry, I didn't say Bessie, I meant Farmer John. If Farmer John is traveling to the right, and his current, or his starting position, plus next, which will be storing how much he's going to travel right, if this is greater or equal to Bessie's current position, um, and obviously Farmer John started to the um, left of Bessie, or if Farmer John is traveling to the left, oh, sorry. and um, the his starting position minus the, uh, the amount he has to travel, so where he's going to travel to to the left. If this is uh, less than or equal to Bessie's starting position, and Farmer John started to the right of Bessie. So if either of these is true, that means Farmer John has reached Bessie, and we can just increment answer by the absolute value of, um, you could do Farmer John's current p starting position minus Bessie's starting position. Yeah, so basically how this works is until we reach the point where Farmer John will get to Bessie, <coughs> we're just going to be incrementing answer by the answer by how much um, he has traveled, uh, I guess, back and forth. And then once he, tr he gets to a point where he travels far enough to reach Bessie, then we're just going to take his starting distance and Bessie's starting distance and then add that to the answer. And yeah, that should. Oh, we also have to print. And yeah, that should be it. Oh, yeah, we, we have to break or else it's going to run infinitely. And yeah, that is the last cow. Thank you for watching.